All right, so uh, it's day one here, day half, depending on how you look at it. Uh, we're gonna start the ridiculous student desk chair thing project. So here we go. I got a pile of parts here. And I got a chair which is broken, free. I have to fix that desk thing fell off. And uh, I don't know, bearings, parts, wheels, hubs, axles. Chinese Honda clone engine, 99 cents. Got that working, best deal ever. Uh, day half is because the first thing I did was take the, uh, these are $3.99 Harbor Freight tires. And they had uh, bearings with, uh, hubs with bearings on them. So I had to grind them off and uh, replace the, the hubs with these ones which will fit on the one inch axle. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take the welder and run the cord over to your neighbor's garage and steal the power. So, because that's the responsible thing to do. So, you can see we got it hooked up there. 50 amp breaker. And, uh, yeah, now we'll be ready to weld. So, the first thing you got to do is figure out uh, where to build the frame, how wide it is, and the axle length, and this and that. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then uh, hopefully have something mocked up in a little bit. All right, I'll show you what I got so far. I got. I think I'm gonna put the the wheels right in inside because I tried to put them behind behind this uh, part of the chair, and it just stuck out stuck out way too far. It didn't look like it belonged there. I'm trying to keep it as compact as possible. Um, the only thing I'm worried about with that is, well, maybe, you know, if I, if the scent, if the drive wheels are further out, there'll be less of a chance that, you know, when you really smash on the gas, you're not going to want to want the whole chair to just go flying backwards and flip over. But, I mean, if that comes to be a problem, then maybe I have to put a wheelie bar on the back. But uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, so, essentially, the chair will just sit in this angle, and then uh, I'll figure out some way to secure it, maybe uh, drill a hole, pin through, cotter pin through it, or something. Um, but, yeah, and then we'll, we'll cut off the front here, and, uh, you know, we'll have to do some kind of, some kind of frame. It's gonna go up and over, because uh, it's gonna be a trike. So, you know, this wheel will be in here, and uh, and it'll steer through here. So, you know, it's it's going to come up to here to that to that arch frame, and then uh, be able to to steer through that, something like that. So, uh, all right, there's kind of the general idea. Uh, I say we cut something, and then see how it goes. Is a really scientific process. All right, so now what I got is uh, uh, the back piece there. It's held in with these uh, nice welding magnets, and put that one in there. And what I try to do is notch a little bit of the bottom of there just to get around the radius to get tighter up in the in there but you know I'll weld all through here and then up the front of the frame there and uh, you know fill in here a little bit and thing will be super strong um, you know, it's already two inch it's already two inch uh, angle and then uh, yeah so we'll get that welded and then we'll uh, figure out how to mount the brackets for the bearings for the rear axle. I think I already figured out that I already saw that I'm gonna have to you know take a V out of here but then when I weld the bracket in I'll weld the V back in with the bracket so so it'll give most of its strength back. Alright, so I got the 
back part of the frame tacked in place and uh, and now I gotta figure out I put the axle back in the rear axle back in and saw you know roughly from the back of the frame to here the center of the axle the furthest back can go is about eight eight inches so uh, what I'm gonna do now is mark I marked eight and a half there and I'm just gonna take the angle grinder and cut a cut a notch out a V is probably the easiest thing to do and then uh, and once that's in there, once there's enough room for the axle to get through, because you can see, you can kind of see, if you were to figure the center of that hole, it's gonna be right around there. So the axle would hit part of the frame. So uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll cut out that V and then block in the sun. And then, uh, then, I'll, then I'll be able to weld in all around this bracket right into the right back into the frame there. Hopefully give it enough strength to uh, survive. I'm not gonna be doing jumps or anything, so uh, I think it should be fun. So uh, do the same thing on the other side and then uh, I'll do some cutting. Also, this thing is really awesome. It's like a steel marking pencil. It's called Silver Streak. You can just draw all over it, whatever. It doesn't matter. And uh, it never gets dull. You don't have to deal with breaking stupid pieces off like soapstone. Pretty good. Yeah, something like that. And there's the other side. So uh, one thing I did notice is that, so you can see over there, the the uh, bearing, the bracket has uh, three bolts, and uh, it won't work. I'm only gonna fit two, so I'm probably gonna have to drill that hole through the frame as well. So good thing you got a welder, because I don't want to take too much more of that frame away. But. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, clean up the steel, try to weld those uh, bearing brackets on, and then uh, we'll see where we go. Okay, so here is what I have so far mocked up. I'm gonna put the chair back on it. And actually you saw I cut, I roughly cut the, the two pieces of steel which are gonna become the you know, mounts of the engine. And also just stiffen the frame as well too in the middle there and uh, got that in there it actually fits very nicely in between the two wheels which of course you can't see because of the sun but there you go and then as long as I keep the clutch there on the inside reversed I have a clear shot back to the axle for the chain so that'll be good I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put the brakes yet um, I might end up actually flipping the, the tires around and the hubs around so that way uh, you know the, the that extra part that sticks out there can kind of it, it's got room to go on the other side and I'll give it a little bit extra room might be able to put snug the brake right up against the edge of the tire there edge of the um, rim so we'll see how that goes but yeah so roughly it's a little crooked because my blocks aren't even, but there's roughly what's gonna happen. You're gonna come up and over and down, and then obviously well, this will be reversed. It'll go there, and uh, a rod will go up, up welded to that beam in a sleeve, so it can turn and also give it rigidity. It'll go all the way through, and then at some point up here, it'll come out, you know, so it'll come up through here and then come out and then come up all the way up to, to here so the driver has uh, control like that. So, that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, you know, it might all change. All right, so I got the uh, steel clean there and uh, ground off a little bit so it fit tighter on the 
for the radius, which you probably can't even see. There you go. And then I uh, got the welding magnets holding them up in there now, so they're perpendicular and they're square and they're not uh, all crazy. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna tack them in with the welder, and then I'll work on getting the top bar in. You know, it'll, it'll look something like that, at least. And then, uh, then we should be a little bit closer. All right, so I figured before I got too far ahead of myself with this front part of the frame, I would take a step back and remove the chair and uh, work on the motor, the engine mount. Um, so you can kind of see I'm trying to lay out a little bit. I got the front two holes just started in there with the punch. And uh, then I realized I don't know what kind of bolts I need for the engine. I don't know if it's metric or or not because uh, it's a it's a Honda clone you know made in China so but made for sale in the US so I don't know we can I'm gonna try to figure it out uh, but uh yeah so I'm gonna run off and get the hardware I need and then uh, drill some holes the hurricanes coming through so gotta go There you go.